Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know, I'm Danielle of Denny Marie Beauty. That's D-E-N-Y-M-A-R-I-E -E, Beauty. Go follow me on Instagram, subscribe below. Today's look is going to be inspired by Carl the Plant. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> it's going to be a green, purple, kind of earth tone look. So let's dive in. To begin, we're going to be using our Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics in the color 4. I'm going to take the spoolie on one end and kind of brush my brows, my unruly brows, into shape. Then I'm going to take the other end and use the eyebrow pencil and line the lower part of my eyebrow. This is going to give you your basis of your arch and this is the start of your brow. Next, we're going to line the top of our brow starting two centimeters from the beginning. Now that we have the basis of our brow, we're going to take our spoolie and brush up and then go back in with our eyebrow pencil and fill in with small hair-like strokes. All right. Now that we have our eyebrows in working order, we're going to go ahead and clean them up with some concealer. I'm going to be using my go-to LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. I'm going to add a pea-sized amount to the back of my hand or to a palette. And then I'm going to take my flat brush from AOA Studios in the number E115 and go ahead and sculpt my brows out. And I'm going to go ahead and sculpt the top now, paying careful attention not to ruin my brows. One swoop! <laughs> Alright, brows are sculpted, and now we're going to take our damp beauty blender and go ahead and bring it down, blend down that concealer. Brows are done. <laughs> okay, brows are done. Now it's on to the eyes. So I'm going to add a little concealer to both eyes and going to give me a nice flat base so I can build this really strong color. Okay, to begin, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Cosmetics Palette. And I'm going to be using, let's see, we're going to use the color Royalty. It's a really pretty strong purple. We're going to go ahead and take our angled eyeshadow brush and go along our crease with this Royalty color. It's a really strong pigment. Like, wow, one swoop, one swoop. And we're just going in our crease, working back and forth. All right, we've packed in that deep royalty purple. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm gonna take my blending brush with nothing on it and just work right above my crease, working back and forth in light strokes. There's just something about purple that makes me feel like real sultry, real like regal, like call me queen, you know, type thing. <laughs> All right, so we are blending upwards towards our brow, and this is unblended, and this is a blended. We still have some work to do, but there is a nice transition that's going on. As you can see, the crease is a lot more poignant, more pigmented, and then as you move outwards, it gets darker, and it starts to fade. And that's kind of what we're going for. All right, our purple is all blended out. Blending it out to the corner edge, up to our brows. And we look good. So next, we're gonna use this lovely, oh. The pigment on the Juvia's Place palettes is like phenomenal. We're gonna be using the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place in the color Wadabi. It's this nice, like, lime, um, 
green color with a nice gold undertone. It's beautiful and nice and pigmented. So we're just gonna take that color and pack on our lid from the corner moving outward. So I'm just gonna take my flat eyeshadow brush. This one's by Morphe Cosmetics. I'm gonna move from the inside of my eye about to the three quarters of my crease. And when I say pigment, like I don't, I would normally cut my crease for this look, but I don't even have to. The pigment is just coming through. Wow, these colors, I'm like living for them. Okay, so now we're gonna keep going with these earthly greens and this nice warm tone and Carl, and we're gonna go back to our Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna be using the color, what you call, Enchanted. It's right down here. And we're gonna be using that on the outside corner and kind of blending it with this nice Wadabi from the Juvia's Place palette. For that, I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush. And just pack it on before I blend. All right, so I'm packed with this nice enchanted deep force green, and I'm gonna go in with my blending brush, with nothing on it, and kind of work that in, blend that in, so we can have a nice transition and work it through my crease. So I'm blending out on my lid, working up on my crease, out on my lid, working up on my crease. And now we're just really working in Blending those colors all together above our crease. We want a nice transition with the purple and the forest green royalty. And there we have it. We have a nice blend with our purple and our forest green. Then we transition down into that Wadabi, which is that lime green, hints of gold type, really enhanced, vibrant, deep color. So now we're on to eyeliner. For eyeliner, you guys already know, my e.l.f. $3 eyeliner, drugstore makeup. It's in the blackest black, which is a charcoal, I believe. I'm just gonna do a really basic wing. There we have it, we are all lined up. So next, we're gonna go along our waterline. For that, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in blackest black. I'm just gonna use my brush from Morphe Cosmetics and go along that waterline. I'm gonna get in on my brush. Waterline is wet. <laughs> okay, now on to lashes. So for today's lashes, I'm gonna be using Ardell Professionals Original Wispies. And I really like these wispies. Um, they're really subtle, not too much must or fuss, so. If you guys have any recommendations on lashes or lash brands I have to try, please let me know. I want to hear from you guys. Get in my subs, like subscribe, like get in my comments. Follow me on Instagram at D-E-N-Y-M-A-R-I-E. DM me, like get on my comments, follow. Like I love it. I want to communicate. I want to get to know the people that watch my videos. Thank you for all the support to my friends, family, people I just randomly meet. Like I love it. You're a damn fan. You're a real one. <laughs> okay, back to lashes. <laughs> Lashes are on, being lifted. See, it's just a really nice, subtle addition. It kind of really makes the eyes bolder, make them stand out a lot better. So, and now we're on to the face. To prime, I'm gonna use AOA Studios Coreless Primer to get wonder skin. <laughs> and I just had a few dots around my face. To get rid of those dark circles and those dark spots and any uneven complexion, I use a red-orange color corrector, and I'm gonna be using the one by LA Girl Cosmetics. I just do a few dots under my eyes, and then I do it around my lips and under my chin. So after I have my red-orange color corrector dotted on my face, I just take my damp beauty blender and blend it in. 
All right, y'all, we're orange. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take my love, 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 my favorite foundation of the Moam. It's the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup in the color brownie. Beyond the color and the long stay and the light airy feel, I love that it comes with a little spatula. It's like the little things, and I can just draw a couple lines in my face, under my chin, and on my forehead. And I'm gonna take my foundation brush, this one's also by Morphe Cosmetics, and just lay it on. Flawless, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Have you met my personality? <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and conceal and contour our face. To conceal, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Concealer Pro Concealer in Toffee. I'm gonna to draw some upside down triangles under my eye. So this is how we start, and then this is how we end. When we like to blend it out really well, so it's that subtle like, oh, there's brightness under my eyes, you know, instead of bags. <laughs> We are concealed, and now let's contour. To contour, I'm gonna be using the mahogany shade of the Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna go at the edge of my cheekbone, around my forehead, and underneath my jaw to kind of give me some sculpting. And thank you, Mommy, for giving me such great cheekbones. You're a real one. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my sculpting brush. And we go up and out. We don't go inwards. We want to go up and out when we are bringing out our contour. Out of my hand, out of the frame. <laughs> so before we finish blending, I'm going to go ahead and bake. I'm going to use the Airspun Suntan Setting Powder. I'm going to go along my jawline, and then I'm going to go under my eyes. So we're waiting to be baked to perfection. Are you following me on Instagram? Because if not, you should. My handle is D-E-N-Y-M-A-R-I-E. -E. Go follow. You'll see daily updates, giveaways where I give away gift cards, goodies, all types of things. You'll see fashion, hair, makeup. You'll see me. And I would love the love, love, love the support. So go follow and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. I want to hear your guys' feedback, what you're thinking of the videos, the vibe you're getting. If you like that, if you didn't like that, I want to grow and I need your help, Dan fans. So back to our regularly scheduled banking. Time's up. All right. So we are baked to perfection. Next, we're gonna be setting our face and then moving on to my favorite part, highlight. So to set my face, I use the Heritage Store Rose Water. So to highlight my face today, I'm gonna to use my favorite Super Shock Cheek Pearl Eyes in Wisp from ColourPop Cosmetics. I'm gonna be using my angled highlighter brush. We are high lit, so let's go ahead and move on to our lips. For today's lips, I'm gonna be using my classic nude look. I'm gonna take the chestnut uh, lip liner pencil from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use the Beyond Basic Slip Tease um, Gloss from NYX Cosmetics. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Carl and friends, for inspiring this look. If you like this look, please like and subscribe down below. Leave your comments. I want to hear feedback from you guys. Get live, Dan fans. Go follow me on Instagram at D-E-N-Y-M-A-R-I-E. Again, that's D-E-N-Y-M-A-R-I-E. Don't forget, beauty comes from within, but a slay is a slay. <laughs>